Are your flowers blooming in your garden? Do you have beautiful tulips or daffodils blooming, growing up? Are you ready for spring and warmer weather? I know I am. And so that's why I created this cute little block that we're going to work on today. You can use this cute tulip block for quilt top, wall hanging, table runner, anything to brighten up for spring. Welcome my quilting friends. My name is Jackie Russell and I am with Jackie Russell Creates. Where we talk about quilting and home decor and sewing. So let's get started in making this cute, fun, adorable tulip block. Let's start with the tall tulip. And you're going to need a white strip that's six and a half by one and a half. You're going to need to cut three of your color and three white that are two and three eighths by two and three eighths. Then you're gonna need one that's your color, that's six and a half by three. You're going to need another one that's in your color that is three and a half by two. You're also going to need two of your white that is seven by three, and then a green that is seven by one and a half. And you can see as I have each of them labeled, so it makes it easier when I go to sew them together and I'm looking at the diagram. The first thing that we're going to do is take our white two and three eighths by two and three eighths, and we're gonna draw a line from corner to corner. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. I'm going to use just a small cutter, or sorry, a small ruler and I'm going to line up the edge of the ruler with the corner and draw a line. I'm just using a friction pin and so if you don't have the half square triangle ruler that I'm going to show next this is how you would do it. You draw a line and then you're going to sew a quarter inch on each side of this and you're going to sew it to the colored. So we're going to do the other two here. If you have the half square triangle ruler, you will take and line up the one that has the two slits with the black line. You're going to line the black line up with your two corners, and then you're going to draw a line on both sides. Now that's where you're going to sew and then we're going to cut down the middle. So if you have a half square triangle ruler, you'll line it up and draw two lines. If you don't have that template and you're using just a square ruler, you want to do it from corner to corner and then you'll have a line just like that. Now we're gonna pin right sides together and I like to pin one in each little triangle. Make sure you're using the right side um, together. When I was doing the test block, I had to tear it apart because I was using, I put it wrong sides. So then my seam was up on top. And then we're just going to sew these blocks together. I'm going to do the chain stitch or chain sewing. Just doing a regular straight stitch. Mm -hmm. 
So on these ones, I'm sewing right on the line. And this one, I'm going to put the line right on the edge of my presser foot because I have the quarter inch presser foot on my machine. I'm going to leave that last one on and take these two and stitch the other side. Now I'm going to cut that last one off and do another stitch down the other side. Now if you didn't have, if you used your regular cutting ruler, you'll just line that mark that you made up along the edge and then you're going to just cut them in half. If you have the half square triangle, you're going to take the one that has the dash marks and the slit in the middle, and then you're going to line up your dashes along your sew line and cut right down the middle. Now we're going to press each of these open, and I like to press and set that st stitch into the fabric. Then we're just going to iron it open or press it open. I like to do toward the dark or the colored fabric, but to get these to nestle together on the top part, we're going to do two of them toward the white. So you have two pressed toward the white and then two pressed to the blue. Now we're gonna square them up and I'm just gonna take my small ruler and they should measure around two inches. So that's pretty much just cutting off the tails so then they're square just like that. So you can take your scissors if you know they just measure up and just cut off those tails. You're going to do that on all six of your blocks and then we're going to lay this out. I like to lay it out so then I know what pieces get sewn to what pieces. So we're going to lay our A at the top and then I arrange four of half square triangle blocks together and I make sure I have the two that go toward the white and then two that go to the blue there. Then we have our middle piece and then we're going to have F with the other half square triangles. And then we're going to have D on either side and then E down the middle. And I like to stitch these as a, a chain just to keep on going to make them go a little faster. So we're going to take, we're going to line up two of the half square triangles with white sides is where we're going to pin. We're going to sew down this white side. So you can see here where one goes toward the blue, one goes to the white, and you can feel where they're just nestled right up against each other, and that's going to help give you a clean point. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Just kind of nestle those seams together, and we're going to pin down the white. You don't have to pin these if you don't if you feel comfortable, but I like to pin. And then we're going to take another half square triangle and we're going to stitch it to the um, F and we're going to stitch down the blue lines. And then I'm going to pin E to one of D. So then we can just sew straight through. Save on some thread and also save on, you know, getting your blocks, the corners of your blocks, pushed up into the feed dogs. Okay, we're just going to sew the ones we have pinned at a quarter inch just straight through.
We're going to cut those and then we're going to iron them or press them open. And I kind of just let the fabric tell me which way it's going to press. If it's a seam that, you know, it don't matter which direction it goes. So I just let the fabric tell me. And then if I have a dark section, I'm going to press it toward the dark. So we're going to press these ones toward the green. Kind of lay them back out again so you know where you're stitching. So then you're going to take your two squares, half square triangles, and you're going to now sew down the blue line. And your seam should nest together. And now we're going to pin the other half square triangle to F. And then we're going to pin D to E again. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a chain stitch. We're going to press those open. Let this one, the fabric tell me which way it wants to go. And then press this one toward the green. And we're going to lay it back out again. So we have A. Now we have B together. There's our C. There's our F and B and D and A. So I like to pin A to B. And when I pin, I pin one corner and then I pin the other corner and then I pin in the middle. And when you pin A to the B grouping, you want to make sure you're pinning along the white edge. And then we're going to pin F to C and you're going to pin along the blue or your colored fabric, the long edge. We're going to stitch these two groups together. And then we're going to press these open. We're going to press to the blue. And this one we're going to press to the white because it has all those extra seams at the other on this side so it's easier to press there then we're going to take your a b your top and we're going to stitch it to the bottom of the tulip once again lining up your corners and pin in the center and then i'm just going to open it up and then I'm going to stitch this, the color part of the tulip, down to the stem, and then we'll iron it all. And now we're going to just iron it. The first one up here, we're going to iron toward the blue. And then we're going to press this one down toward the stem. Flip over, give it a nice press. And there is our tulip block.